You feel that, guys? This is what getting something as an adult that you wanted as a child feels like. Hello, viewers, and welcome to a new episode of Let's Revisit. This time, I will be playing a 12-year-old game that is called Swords and Sandals 3. You may be asking yourself, why did I choose 3 right off the bat, not Sword and Sandals 1, 2, or 4? Well, because this is my favorite Swords and Sandals game, despite it being kind of buggy. But before we do dive straight into the game, if you guys can get all of Joyce to comment on one of my videos and, well, on this video specifically on Blessed, then I will just make a walkthrough of every Swords and Sandals game. So, do it guys, I'm quite curious to see the results. Also, like and subscribe for more content, because it really helps the channel and motivates me to keep going. So let's begin. And of course, the very first screen that we are greeted by is the character creation screen. I have an idea of who I want to create. Yeah, this is probably as close as I can get to creating this beautiful fellow. Now, don't mind if he's 250 pounds. Um, from what I've read, he did have quite the impressive physique. And now we have to allocate our stats. We can't do it equally if we want to win, so... There we go. Yeah, I think this is a pretty accurate trivia effect. What would he say? Yeah, I think this is about as accurate as we could get. Wow, he can run pretty fast. I'm quite surprised since of what happened in these later years. And so, we get to the game itself. Now, you may be wondering, there's so many shops around and so many icons to click. Well, let me tell you something. Here they sell swords, here they sell low-level armory. Here they sell access and pull arms, here they sell mid to high level armory, here they sell helmets, capes and shields, maces, guns and bows, guitars and magic. Though so we're going to use a maximum of 4 shops during the whole game. Usually I always go with swords because, well, swords are awesome, I mean, how can I not play swords and saddles without using swords, but this time, I want to try axes out for a change, to see what they're all about. I think I'm going to buy a hatchet and cloth shoulder guards. So if you want to equip anything, go to view character and start dragging items towards your character. You can fight a pretty wide array of gladiators here, and I'm going to start with this guy who has more health than me, unfortunately, so I can imagine this battle being a bit tough. The whole gameplay mechanic is to just press buttons and hope you're hit. Here I miss with a power attack. The taunts do not, the taunt do not work this time. So there's a real chance that he can beat me because, well, he's a bit more tanky than I am. No, I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna fight until the end. Okay. Oh no, he critical hit me. Well, that was unfortunate. How is that machine that Stalin used to remove unnecessary things? I need it right now. So maybe the next opponent won't give me as much trouble, hopefully. Oh no, he's a mage. Well, this is not going well at all. Well, look at that. I finally beat someone. And he had no weapon. Well, never mind that. We now get to spare or to kill him. Now, sparing people gives you more experience from every gladiator in the long run, while killing them gives you more gold per victory, so... Just like the KGB. So now we leveled up after our fight, and 
we get to increase our stat points for now. The benefit of fighting guitar wielders in this game is that you have a 100% chance of hitting them with a melee, so they're always easy fights. So uh, I don't like my odds here at all. Oh, well I just served his arm mid-battle, so victory! And ah, finally. With every two levels I get to choose two points for my schools. The upper one is School of Warfare, School of Arcane, School of Survival and School of Theatrics. What you really want to do is go for School of Warfare first and just start focusing on X Mastery since I'm using Axes. Sounds fair, doesn't it? Also, I haven't explained the variety of opponents. To the far left you have an enemy that is two le three levels even ab below you. To the left is one level below you. The one in the middle has the same level of you as you. The one to the right is one level above you. And the most the opponent to the far right is three levels above you. So let's see what we can do here. There's also another very interesting mechanic about this game. If your opponent has a lot of health and he's near a cliff, just do this. And he should fall eventually. Any any minute now. Just please fall. Come on, bro. Do it for me, please. How, why? How are you still standing, please? No. Uh, maybe should power attack? No. Or you can achieve battle trance, which also works. It basically doubles your damage and gives you a hundred percent chance to hit your opponent, so BOOM! Though it does get cancelled if an opponent hits you with a normal or power attack. But fortunately I managed to critical hit him, so off you go. Yeah, you tell him. You tell him. Well, that was very rude of him. Since we're at the same level as an arena champion, it seems that in this version, when I level up to be um, a level above him, I can't fight anyone anymore in the arena, so I'm gonna show you a trick that I've learned. Ooh, that had to be painful. So since I'm extremely close to leveling up, I'll just exit the arena. Save and exit. Load up Gladiator. And voila! I have new fights. Though, you'll have to do this quite a few times at the start of the game because you need the money. You really need the money. Also, just listen at how glorious the sound effects are in this game. Especially when two guys are especially when two gladiators are fighting. Isn't it beautiful? So with a new level up I'm going for Axe Master again. <laughs> Oh, too bad I didn't record that, but I told him and he just fell off the cliff. So after getting some money, it would be an amazing idea to buy a few things. You can just press level and scroll up to the things that have a similar level to yours. So, four height bands, for example. And I do think that we are all set to fight the arena champion, the fearful prisoner. Though he isn't that difficult, he is an introductory type of arena champion, though like all arena champions he wears items that are above his own level, which you can't do in this game. And that makes them very difficult, well at least some of them very difficult. As you can see here, see here the fight against them isn't that difficult. Just keep poking him and it's going to just 
follow up soon. And just like that, the faithful prisoner has been beaten. Though the next arena champion is a bit more difficult, to say the least. Also, every time after I go... Also, every time after I go to the arena, after an arena champion fight, well, a successful one, I get greeted with this. Yeah, they have the butt towards me. So that means they have to restart the game. Also, there's another neat trick. Every time you restart the game, the items that you can buy also are renewed. So if you have a high level and want to get a specific item, but just can't be bothered to fight for it all the time, then here you go. This, that this trick should help you out quite a bit. So back to more fighting. I also do enjoy the randomized names of these gladiators sometimes. Like this guy's got bronze mystic, but he ain't bronze, nor he's he a mystic. So off you go. More toward axe mastery. Oh no, a female. Be gone, thought. You know, I figured that hand would be stronger since he carried the mallet with it, but I was wrong. Also, I haven't told you guys, but. The more people you don't spare, the stronger your unholy right skill will be. It's basically one damage per two people killed and it helps you take out opponents in annoying situations like this. As usual, vitality and strength. Well, there was just no competition. He out damaged me. And so let's do that trick of ours again. Even more axe mastery. So the best axe I can buy is this one. And now I want to buy some armor. I think I'm going to buy this. And these bad boys. We don't look too bad if I do say so myself, but I won't be surprised if I don't beat the next arena champion in my first go. So, here goes nothing. I don't really like his average damage superiority. No, oh, no, I'm so close. Come on, just hit him once. Ugh, defensive stance. Ugh. Yes, him. He's missing along with me. I did it. I beat him on first try. Yes. Ah. Well, poor guy. I think. This is as far as I'm going to go with this review. Now, what do I think about this game? Well, I missed it so much. And the fact that I finally have the full version, it just motivates me to play through all of it even more. So, if you guys would want me to stream this amazing game, then just tell me and I will do so. But until then, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for the view.